As shelter in place continues, virtual get togethers, they've become a new norm and will probably be the way many people are going to celebrate the unofficial start to summer this year. And here to show us some creative alternatives to backyard barbecues is wine and spirit expert Mike Lee. Welcome to the show, Mike. I know you have some delicious ideas, uh, refreshing as well, um, especially when it comes to non-alcoholic cocktails. And the first one is spa water. I've never heard of that before. Tell me what goes into this mixture. So spa water is kind of one of my creations. I use a non-alcoholic uh, dry London spirit it's called Lear. And so what's really fantastic about this, it has some of those botanicals that you would expect from a gin. But then what I did is I uh, made some lavender simple syrup at home, a little bit of lime juice, and then you just add some mint and club soda or seltzer water if you have. And then you can kind of play with it. If you want some fruit, some strawberry, anything like that, you kind of make your own spa water at home and it's really delightful, but it's non-alcoholic. It's really nice. Non-alcoholic, that's pretty cool. Um, what kind of flavors are you gonna taste? Is it very refreshing? Super refreshing. Because you have that lime, you get that citrus profile. The lavender kind of gives you that spa treatment and then the mint has that nice herbaceousness that you need. It's just, I, I love it. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, spa water, I might have to try that one out. Okay, so your next cocktail is a Vincenzi spritz. Did I say that right? It's also non-alcoholic. Tell us what makes this drink uh, great. Well, this one's actually got alcohol in it. This is Vincenzi. Vincenzi is gonna be uh, this Italian aperitif. So uh, similar to something like Aperol, this is a kind of a bitter orange rhubarb kind of profile. And you add a little club soda and bubbly to it. Um, and you kind of make this beautiful brunch ready, uh, backyard barbecue ready, cocktail that is super simple it's just three parts i mean you just put three things together add a little bit of ice and stir a big huge orange slice it's super refreshing but enough of that bitterness to balance out the sweetness oh my goodness the color there looks so nice well these drinks you're telling right. us about do they go with you know because you got to have food when you're doing the barbecue do these go right. with well pair well with with just about any food you might be enjoying in the backyard exactly yeah anything memorial day weekend we, we like to think about what we're pairing uh i actually made a, a surprise cocktail for you uh, this oh. one is a tequila-based cocktail, so it's my oh. twist on a Paloma. So you <laughs> add a little uh, Campari to it, and then Campari kind of makes that little bitterness, that bright citrus profile come out, that burnt orange kind of profile, with grapefruit soda and tequila. And I used our Mi Agave tequila. This, this is definitely a food-friendly one, especially if you're making fajitas or if this weekend you're doing some grilled skirt steak. This is where to go. Oh, I, you know what? I've never, I would never think of these things. You've got something for everyone. So what about our yeah. wine lovers? When it comes to wine, right. I like rosé. What do you suggest? Hey, rosé all day is what I say. Yeah. Um, I, right, right now I'm drinking this La Bombe rosé from Languedoc region. I definitely recommend a region uh, in France, either Provence or Languedoc, that has this kind of minerality to it to also go with the fruit that you expect from a rosé because it's better for pairing with food. Um, this one has all that profile at a great price. So I, I definitely recommend doing something from France that has that, that a nice acidity to balance with the food that you'd be eating. That's good advice to note about the rosé. You know, rosé has really been on the come up, but there's still a lot of people that might prefer right. like a white wine, Chardonnay. Anyway. Right. right, Chardonnay is always popular. Um, the one I recommend because in where we, we live in California, went California went Caneros kind of grapes. So this is 100% Caneros grapes. This is 1001 by Auburn James, a well-known uh, vineyard there. And, and so this wine, as you can see, has that nice golden hue that you expect from a Chardonnay. On the nose, you get some of that butter, some pineapple, some tropical fruit, and you get it chilled right. It's, it's something that I call like a porch rock in a poolside Chardonnay. It's definitely a little bit more medium bodied. It, it's, it's great and definitely something I recommend. So educational you are, Mike. Okay, a lot of people <laughs> also love their summer brews. Tell us right. about one that you have. I'm hearing pineapples, mangoes. Yeah. So it, w w fruit beer is really popular when it gets warmer outside. We're expecting some heat waves here Memorial Day weekend. So at BevMo, we're like, oh, it's time to taste on Fridays. We recommend some stuff. So the beer that a couple of the beers I have recommended, this one, first one is a Spark Ale from 21st Amendment out of San Francisco. It's a little of that effervescence that you expect from bubbly, but with a beer. And then it has some nice fruit profile, coconut, pineapple, mango into it. I was sipping on it last night at, at the end of the work day, and it was warmer outside my back patio. I mean, it, it was a great way to shelter in. <laughs> Looks like you enjoyed it. And you also have one <laughs> other pineapple drink for us. What is it? Yeah, so um, this is from Calicraft. So people have been drinking White Claws. That's a big trend right now. So, so seltzers, hard seltzers are really popular. This is like a beer version of that. It's a sparkling and dry seltzer from Calicraft, which is local Walnut Creek where I live. Um, and this has fresh pineapple and mango in it. And it's something that, again, 
warmer days, you're barbecuing, you, you socially distance, but you, you, you can still have a good brew. And it's really nice that BevMo, you can do, you know, pick up curbside pickup if you want to order online super fast or Instacart or DoorDash and you get great beers. Mike Lee, thanks so much for joining us. I'm taking notes. Uh, yes. I appreciate all the insight. Of course. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. All right. Take care.